happy or sad. We're here at the Bay 1-1 Shooting Star, and I'm here with Pat Lyons. Now, let's start with a positive story. Last night, you finished first in the in the 2K. 2K. Event, the, the you and Mimi chopped it up. Yes. Pretty awesome job, man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I uh, could have taken a better deal than was actually ended up getting, but I let a little uh, greed get involved. When there's a three-handed game and the one that doesn't want to chop, typically it never favors him. And I was a victim of that. I uh, ended up getting a two-way chop and cost myself about $12,000 by not taking a nice offer from the other two players who I want to congratulate because they played a really good game. And all three of us should have left winners instead of two of us. And I feel bad for the third-place player, Greg Flowers. Played a great game. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy to do a two-way chop, and Mimu is a very good opponent. Yeah, a lot of local players at that final table, and three local players finish out on top. It's pretty uh, exciting, for, obviously, for Bay 1-1 Casino and for you as well. Um, there was a lot of drama surrounding that deal, a lot of this and that, and I'm better than you and things like this. Yeah, what happened? The funny thing is, is the uh, crowd that comes and watches, you have the pros and the, and the good stars that watch the televised table. My table, the uh, 2K event, had more players, and the, the Shooting Star 10K event was making fun of us. I didn't know this, and I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I do like to crowd, uh, crowd please, and I like to uh, play a good game, make it exciting. But we got very aggressive there at the end, and uh, there were big swings, and I think all three of us were happy we were playing for such good money, and nobody really lost. Nobody really lost. That's good. That's good. Okay, so let's talk about losing. <laughs> Today is day 1B of the main event, and we're in the sixth level here, but you've been out for a while. Yeah, and I, I, I feel bad. I made a prediction that I would be uh, a cash participant in this event. And to kind of retract and go back, I've had a up-and-down week. Um, everything I've been playing has been hitting. Uh, started off with a... Uh, Winning my uh, 10K ticket, uh, telling the player I was going to win it, win it. Uh, predicting I was going to make the final table, win it. Uh, everything. It's, I've had such a crazy run. I'm, I'm more stunned that I got knocked out of this tournament with the type of hand that I played. And we can go into that if you'd like. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a pretty crazy hand for what I'm hearing. You had a 9-10 and you were up against. It was 9-10 suited. And... The way I, I started off this hand was I knew I had a good image on my table and I had never raised a hand where I showed any weakness. So I came in with the idea that I was gonna go in raising this hand. The blinds were actually 100, 200. Uh, there were no antis. I raised the hand and- It was a third made, level. Yeah, third level. Um, third level thinking. Made, uh, no, I just wanted to have fun. I, wa I wanted to create something. I, uh, I come in with a uh, $700 raise. I get a caller and a razor. The player on my left, he's played no hand, so he's got good respect. I have a nice uh, sandwich there in, uh, with his, his situation. Now the guy comes in, um, small blind. He picks up pocket aces. We don't know this yet. He raises 27. Obviously, you wouldn't have been in there with 9-10. Right, but <laughs> there, there is a little bit of gamble in me, and uh, we, we can ret retract back to that, too. Uh, I did... Um, I did think to myself, uh, if I call 2K raise, the other player to my left will call. And so I was going into a prediction mode. And remember, I was giving up gambling for, for Lent. <laughs> uh, I'm gambling right now doing this, so this is why I, I don't have a good outcome. Uh, I call 2K, he calls 2K. Now there's a, a flop that happens. I've got the 9, 10 of clubs. The flop comes queen, 10, deuce, two clubs. Now I'm predicting things. I predicted I'm going to get a nice hand. I predicted I'm going to get action. I predicted this flop. I go with it. I don't know why, why I had to do this, but uh, long story short, he checks to me. I bet 6000 I went into a mean pose, sat there looking. Show me what it looks like. That's a mean pose. Okay. Even meaner than that. Okay. Maybe, maybe Maya my, my sometimes look like they're looking at you, but they don't. So who knows? Now, we, uh, we think about it, think about it, think about it. The other player, he raises me 16,000. In a weird way, I'm mind controlling him. 
What, is that, what does that mean? I wanted to go for this hand. Why I wanted to go for it, I don't know. But I knew I was going to win this hand. He has aces. I've got the 9-10 suited. It turns a queen. River's a blank. I was actually more stunned that I didn't win the hand than that I got knocked out of a $10,000 World Poker Tour, Shooting Star event, Bay Area fame, everything I've ever wanted in the Bay Area. This is what we live for, is your tournaments at this casino, great casino. You didn't even make it until the bounty was there. Phil Ivey hadn't even shown up yet. No, and, and it would have been fun. They're televising on the internet. I could have been there. We could have had some fun for the friends at home. And even in Cincinnati, I got a buddy back there, a great friend of mine in Cincinnati. He's watching. People across the, uh, the states are watching this. Maybe around the world. Well, you never know. But I've got a lot of pull, so I'm going to do something else. And uh, I, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm happy and disappointed at the same time. You know, I got a lot of comments uh, from a lot of players saying that you really played great these last few days. You won two seats to the main event. No, three. I won three. Three seats to the three main seats. event. Wow. Uh, you got your gold back. Got the gold back. Oh, yeah. Let, let, we can have a little fun. We, we can talk about the gold. So <laughs> Pat has this history of pawning his gold for tournament buy-ins. You don't have to do that for a while now. No, no, no. Uh, matter of fact, uh, oddly enough, winning this much money, this large sum, to a lot of people, it would uh, affect them where they, they're they overwhelmed. To me, it, it really doesn't do me, do me, it doesn't change me at all because I have no more sports to bet on. I have no more horses to bet on. Now, I don't have a big tournament to buy in. So now I've created a problem. I've got a lot of money and I can't buy into another <laughs> 10,000 shooting star tournament. I'm going to figure something out and I'm going to make this money make money. Bankroll management. Bankroll management. And I don't know. Maybe what a manager. Doing. Maybe a manager. <laughs> maybe maybe somebody you never uh, know. One last question. Sure. You know, there was a lot of talk on the chat about you drinking so much water. Oh. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, I have I have a condition. It's called pancreatitis. And my pancreas uh, is very sensitive to the foods that I eat, uh, stress development from gambling and, and everything, which doesn't help. But you have... Uh, spicy foods and, and alcohol and those things and I'm not a big drinker I'll drink but I'm, I'm careful when I drink that I don't eat so I take the water and I keep my, my body regulated and that uh, it doesn't allow my stomach to freeze up or anything it's it's better it, it's costly and, and it, a lot of trips to the restroom so <laughs> At least we're, right, we're, well, we're, we're employing people. Let's hope that you put this together and make a serious run in a lot of deep events. And uh, you are a Bay Area, Bay Area legend, so I am very proud of you. You had a lot of people cheering for you. And, you know, going forward, I think you'll have even more. Congratulations, Pat Lyons. And I'm sure we'll see you in another big tournament soon. I guarantee it. Thank you.